What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again, back with the bang of the day, guys, on another special video. And I gotta give it to y'all. Salute to all the love and support. Um, I have to go ahead and get this video out because I've been waiting for a minute now to talk about this gun, and it's the best gun right now on the market, in my opinion, budget wise, and for everyday carry and for concealed carry, that is as well, if you are properly licensed. And that is, of course, is the Springfield Hellcat Pro. <laughs> I have here today the Springfield Hellcat Pro, fully cleared, you feel me? And I have it in my full setup, you feel me? Now, this was the gun that I had replaced the Glock 19 with recently, mainly because of the size and the shape, you know, the feel, all that in my hand, along with the magazine capacity. Now, I'm gonna be honest, you know, I'm not gonna take away from the fact that this, in my opinion, or the Glock 19, my, my bad, is not a great gun. Not a, it, it's an awesome gun, it's a great everyday gun. But for the size, the compactness, and the feel, and everything about, it was something that made me jump to grab the Hellcat. Now it was between the Hellcat Pro and the P365XL. Those two were going head to head. And one of the main reasons why I went with the Hellcat was because I already had the P320 and I wanted just to try something from Springfield. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm happy I went with the Hellcat. Right now at this specific moment, right? Hellcat or Springfield is doing uh, the bundle packages i've been seeing them float around i actually bought mine and then sent in my serial number to them and they sent it out for free but you can actually buy it now and it comes as is and it's the gear ready or the gear up bundle when you buy this gun it's just going to come in a pretty standard uh just little little pamphlet like this let me put this down it's going to come like this in one of these those the dummy rounds it's going to come like that now, you could probably find online or at your local gun store this being sold along with the gun for like $530. I've seen it on PSA, I've seen it at numerous other places. At the same time, I believe Springfield might still be having their type of deal where if you buy the gun and then you go to their website, you can put in your serial code and have them ship this out within eight weeks. I could be wrong though, I could be wrong, cannot really remember, but it's not hard to find this. And this bag comes for free, and you also get three, I believe three or four, I can be wrong again, additional magazines. You get like three to four extra mags, along with the one or two that comes with the gun. I cannot fully remember how this, gun. It just forgive me for that. This little patch, I just threw this on here, but it's a very nice gun bag. Uh, you can fit, you know, magazines all in there. You can put your gun in there, right here. You can probably fit another gun right there. I have another gun right here. Like you can fit a lot of different guns in there. Now, back to the gun itself. You got 15, no safety on here whatsoever. You have a different type of sight too. It's like a U if you can see. And I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm about to block my face because it's not gonna, it's gonna act stupid. You have this different type of sight, which is like a U and then the front sight, which is a, has a glow ring to it. However, as you can see, I have a Hollow Sun 407K on here. It's such a s small barrel that you have to get this particular one. I think you can also go with the Dragon Hex or the Dragonfly, whatever Springfield sight is, which I actually have, if y'all remember, on the 1911 Double Stack Prodigy, which I'm happy I didn't get that on this because the Hollow Sun compared to that, that's doo-doo. You feel me? I'm gonna put a hollow sun on that. This hollow sun has the shake the wake feature when you pick it up. It doesn't have the solar panel with it though, so it doesn't have none of that, but it does have the, you pick it up, it cuts on, you feel me? And it's good to go. As far as when I first shot this gun, it seems like the, uh, I need to lower, and I don't know how to do that on these type of sites, I'm not gonna lie to you, but basically it shot a little high. I just aimed down a little bit lower and I was able to hit, you know, straight up, no problem whatsoever. A very, very accurate gun, then I put the, you know, the uh, red dot on and I just went to town with it and had a whole bunch of fun. This also has a TLR7A stream light and this is a very nice compact look. You know, uh, just press the button quick, you turn it on or you can just hold it and it's like a little release. Great overall, you know, um, great trigger. I love the trigger on it. Let me actually go this way. Once again, here you go. You got a little bit of leeway. Well, it's actually a good amount of leeway you see. There you go. All right, here you go. There you go. It's a lot of room on the trigger. So that would be definitely something I could see people like trying to upgrade. I like the trigger overall, I like the little safety feature on there. It's a good little feel and it's not as curvy, it's pretty flat. 
So I actually like the trigger a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you whatsoever. I like the trigger, maybe something I wanna upgrade down the road. The grip, I love the grip. It has a really unique type of style grip to it, but that grip also is just, it feels really good in the hands. So, you know, and it's a really good size overall. Now compared to like a Glock, As far as how you're looking at, you know, the meat wise, you can see there's a huge difference in the whips. And I compared this gun, the Hellcat, more to that of my Smith & Wesson shield that I showed y'all. The Smith & Wesson and this pretty much were the same exact barrel. The main difference of the two was that the hand was way more thicker. So it had the same, the same width as a shield. This was the same as a shield, but this was way thicker. So it's pretty much equivalent to like a sh uh, MP shield, but with a double stack type of, you know, hand, like, uh, you know, grip on it. So, you know, that was uh, something to talk about as well. But this thing is my everyday carry. I carry this everywhere I go. Really nice, really slim, not uncomfortable whatsoever. As we get into the, the fall, I might, you know, start rocking uh, the P320 a little bit more, but this is a great gun. You can walk, walk around with, feel not, not feel uncomfortable with. I have to give you a shout out to Four Bros as well uh, for their holster. They make a holster specifically for this gun with the specific light that I have on here. Now you could probably get other lights as well, but this one is specifically for the TRL 7A. And I actually bought the wrong one, hit them up, told them I got the wrong one on accident. They said it's all good. They allowed me to exchange it and pay for the shipping and I paid for it and it, uh, it came back and everything's there. I mean, it's perfect. You know, perfect uh, holster. I got my pajama on, man. Forgive me, but uh, you know this is, and you know how this is when you got like you know your elastic. It's not the best to wear a holster, but it, yeah, yeah. You're not really supposed to be wearing pajamas with that, but hey, it came out. The holster came out too, but the gun came out. But you can, you know, of course, uh, put some more tension on it. But I, 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 I love, I love this, uh, this holster for it. It's real nice and slim. You got that little, you know, carbon fiber type of look. And I think it's going for like 80 bucks. So recommend it, salute to them on that. And uh, it's the everyday gun that I carry. Right now for the price point of 500, you know, you'll probably be paying 600 at max if you go to a local gun store or something like that. Uh, of course this and this didn't, this did not come with it. So don't, you know, you're gonna just come with the regular gun by itself. This and this is not gonna come with it. But with the gun itself as is, phenomenal gun, didn't get any, I shot about three to 400 rounds in it. I'm just having a blast with this gun and this is one of the guns I'm trying to train with the most. I could not find any actual footage, but I will do a fuller update when I hit like 500 rounds. But I just wanted to put this out here that right now, this gun, you know, I love my Glock 19. I love my shield. I love my P320. This gun right here is the most comfortable gun to wear around when I'm out and about. And also as far as shooting, I feel real comfortable with it as well. There's a lot of things and a lot of factors when it goes into carry. Like sometimes you gotta sacrifice, you know, uh, so you gotta, it's like a sacrifice with every single gun. It's not the perfect package, package gun out there. I might be able to shoot way better with my, you know, 1911-45, but do I wanna walk around with some big old thing that makes me feel uncomfortable and only have seven rounds? Then you got the Glock 19, which you get 17 rounds, but it's also big and chunky, you feel me? With this, you know, I got a way smaller frame, 15 rounds, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little bit more recoil on this compared to the, you know, Glock 19, the, the, uh, the Glock 19. Then I have the P320, which holds 17 rounds. I'm, it's super accurate, trigger, everything on it's amazing, but I'm gonna be walking around with a goddamn, you know, a coloscopy bag on the side of my hip, you feel me? So there's a lot of different things that you gotta factor in with everything. Uh, another one shield you can put the shield on in your pocket and nobody even know the only issue with the shield is It's very very snappy, you know compared to something like this. I feel like it's a really good balance with this gun I like to shoot it. I'm gonna continue to shoot it overall. really have no complaints, you know I have some complaints with the Springfield 1911 DS currently, but with the Hellcat Pro it's uh, it's good to go man there is a new P365 XL uh, macro on my bad. It's a lot of competition. You know, I definitely would like down the road probably to get a 365 because that's the main gun that goes head to head. Six six hour, definitely reputable brand. And I could have went with that and been just as good. P365 and this are just head and head. Some people like the other, you know, some people don't like safeties. This doesn't have a safety that does. You can probably delete the safety on there. You probably can add a safety on here. So there's different things like that as well, but I have nothing negative to say about uh, the Hellcat. I have a Dodge Challenger scat pack. Now I got me a Hellcat as well. You feel me? And uh, yeah.
no complaints. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Definitely a great gun right now. And with the deal with the package that comes with additional four magazines and the two that come with it, the bag and all that is amazing. There's also the RDP version that comes with a compensator and I think a sight. And then there's also ones that just come with the sight as well. There's also the other version of this, the spring, the original Hellcat, which is um, I think 12. And then you could buy the 15 round mag that would pretty much make it like this. The pro though comes as is with that. So, you know, it's great. And then the, the sight, it's a little bit more of a basic sight. Uh, maybe I can get it on there. I don't know if I can. It's just a very basic sight, red dot, but I love it. It is what it is. So yeah, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on the Hellcat Pro from Tony D2Wild. I'm out.